I just walked into this room and it wasn't moving and now all of a sudden it's actually moving? Like, are you kidding me? Oh, this is so terrifying. I don't know why, it just freaks me out. Okay, I'm on edge times 5,000 right now. At least. I'm Mo Sargi. That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, hide right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts or spirits would tell her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the no! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm all the way out here in the middle of nowhere, somewhere in the mountains of New York. There's this really big abandoned mansion. Like, I'm talking mega sized abandoned mansion, a really haunted one deep in the forest. We're about to go and walk through the forest to get to this mansion to spend some time. It's almost three o'clock in the morning. We're gonna be doing a paranormal investigation in this place. I've never been here before, but my friend Angela that's joining me has been here and he's caught some pretty spooky things inside of this place. Wait till you guys see it. I've seen a couple pictures. It's really, really interesting. You guys are about to be mind blown by this place. So all I need from you guys to do is smash the hell out of that like button, comment something positive below. I'm gonna be replying to all positive comments and hearting them up to the top. I love you guys. Let's get on with this video. All right guys, so the mansion that I'm in right now saw a lot of death in the past. So over the hundreds of years of it being resided with old people and you know different people that actually lived and died in here, this place became haunted. I live in Canada and I hate the fact that I can't watch certain shows or movies on Netflix or even on certain websites, such as the Travel Channel. But thanks to ExpressVPN, which is also the sponsor of today's episode, I can now watch movies or shows like Paranormal Caught on Camera, which I happen to get featured in weekly, or Portals to Hell, which is one of my top five favorite haunted paranormal shows on the Travel Channel website. Now without ExpressVPN, I can't watch any of these and I can't even access them in Canada. With just a click of a button with Whatever location you're in, I'm gonna be clicking on USA over here. And just like that, I am now able to watch any movies or TV shows in the USA that I can't watch in Canada. ExpressVPN has many other uses than to just watching TV shows or movies that you'd normally can't. It's also a great tool for security, as every time you use the internet, big tech companies mine your data by tracking your messages, your searches, and your video history. But when you run ExpressVPN on your devices, the software hides your IP address, which websites can use to personally identify you. And that makes your activity more difficult to trace and to sell to advertisers. Take my situation for instance. I am currently traveling non-stop on tour filming videos for YouTube. I upload those videos through Wi-Fi's that I use in rental Airbnbs or hotels or wherever it is that I use. Sometimes I go to Starbucks's and I have to use the Wi-Fi's there to upload videos for you guys. So I protect myself by using ExpressVPN by blocking out hackers and prying eyes through Wi-Fi networks. The cool thing about ExpressVPN is that you can use it on any device, whether it's your phone, your tablet, your computer, even your router at home. And if you live in the US and you want to watch Netflix shows like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which you can only get in Canada, you can simply switch the location of your VPN to Canada and you can easily watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine and other shows that you can't usually get in the USA. No matter where you are around the world, a single ExpressVPN subscription has you covered. ExpressVPN has a 30-day money-back guarantee and a live 24-hour customer service support. Go to www.expressvpn.com slash mosarji. My link is going to be down in the description or pinned to the top of the comment section. I'm even going to leave it right here on the screen make sure you guys download it via my link to find out how you can get three months of expressvpn for free now i hope you guys keep yourself safe using expressvpn what do you say we get back into this video i just made my way into this place and i am absolutely blown away by the way this looks a lot is left inside which is crazy look at this this is the kitchen right now a little bit destroyed yes i know but you know what it's not that bad i'm really surprised not too much graffiti going on in here either. Pretty cool, look at this ice cream fridge or a freezer. Got some old kitchen equipment over here. Whoa, what a terrifying place. Imagine living in a place like this, a place this big. Really, really spooky and really scary. Whoa, check out this room. There's like a fireplace over here. Really old looking fireplace. Don't know what this was. It looks like it used to be maybe, I don't know. It's, it's like a little kitchen inside of the kitchen. Really terrifying though. I am using an extra bright light tonight because 
I don't know, just kind of scared of the darkness today. What's in here? Whoa. Whoa, holy moly. What the hell did I just walk into? Well, that's creepy. Look at all this, guys. Look at the walls, the panels, another fireplace over here, a secret door. Look at this. If this was closed, you would never even know that there's a door there. Whoa. Super ancient, very, very old. Love the fact that it's not really graffitied that much. A lot of the destruction here looks like it was kind of natural. Unreal. This is pretty. Honestly, wasn't expecting this. I've seen a couple pictures of the main entrance, but not of this. So, this is a treat. Look at that, there's another fireplace right there. I do put my life at risk to give you guys epic content like this. All I need from you guys is to smash the like button. That's it. Smash the like button. And if you want, follow me on Instagram. Watch my stories that I post on Instagram while I'm on this USA road trip. I'm not asking for much, guys. Very, very simple stuff. The whole benefits of following me on Instagram and seeing my stories is to always know where I am, where I'm gonna be. You never know, you might get to meet me. Absolutely loving the designs on the ceilings. So pretty. Whoa, look at this arch over here. This reminds me of an arch that I seen inside of the Titanic mansion a little while back that I went to. If you guys remember the video, here's a, a shot of the thumbnail. Maybe you guys can go and watch that video if you haven't watched it. One of the best abandoned places that I've ever been to in my entire life. Holy moly. No way, no way. What? This, this is crazy. Look at the detail on the ceilings. Holy shit. This is all handmade. Right? So I'm guessing this was like the main foyer area. Imagine this house being back in mint condition and then you're just chilling out. Look at that, just some cigars here. Someone was drinking some tea, cigars by the fireplace. Look at those arches on the doors. What a magical place. There's an old couch left behind as well. Really hate the fact that there's a bit of graffiti, you know, it's always annoying to see graffiti in such beautiful places like this. Whoa, what is this? It's like an office area over here with some papers and stuff left behind. Now this is something you don't ever see. It's like a freaking castle, man. Look at the light fixture. That's crazy. This place is probably over like 250 years old. It's gotta be some destruction over here. Check it out. Another room over here. What is this? Oh, it looks like an office. So many offices for a big mansion. Oh, number six. How delightful. So many cool things left behind inside of this mansion, you guys. Can't believe it. Big chandeliers up there. What is this room? Oh, it's like a cathedral in here. So creepy. So was it a mansion or a cathedral? What was this place? I think they extended it that way. Wow. Kind of like the rooms, again, it was a nursing home after. Oh, there's a piano. Well, that's awesome. Oh, it's still I can definitely confirm that there's a spirit that is definitely attached to this piano. Really? Yeah. How do you th figure? Because we had a REM pod that would literally go off on command right at this piano. All right, now. let's throw a REM pod on there and see what happens. Guys, check it out. There's a secret staircase. And this little tiny door over here. What the hell? Oh, you know, I gotta go up the staircase in a little bit, but first we're gonna check on the REM pod and see if it gives us any activity. Angela's got the REM pod set up over here. Anything in here that wants to come and communicate with the REM pod? Just touch it. Just come and sit right in that chair. We're gonna be here all night talking to you. Is that you? Yeah, I accidentally touched it. Well, 
while that's happening, I'm gonna keep looking around. And see what else is in here. That's just a fire electrical panel. Oh, bathroom in here. Look at this. All this Troid. You change the frequency? Yeah. Talk to us. Maybe if we uh, start leaving the room. All right, let's walk away. Maybe we'll walk away a little bit, guys. And we'll see. Such a creepy place to walk into. Terrifying, if anything. Goodbye, REM pod. I can't wait to go upstairs and see what's up there. Unbelievable, look at that front entrance door. It's like castle-like. So beautiful. I wonder if the rest of the house looks like this. There's all these little like secret doors over here. Oh, another little tiny office. The fact that I found a staircase hidden in the wall could indicate like there's something else that's hidden around here. Right, things that we've never seen before. I'm obsessed with the ceiling though. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in this area. I haven't been in here just yet. Oh, oh. What the f was that? There's something in there. There's something in the room. Yeah. Oh, that scared me. I seen it. I seen something. It's like a shadow. Oh. Look. I thought I seen it. Dude, that's high up there. Yeah. That is fucking high up there. I thought I, I seen a shadow as I was coming in. Is there someone in here? That's the floor? Yeah. Careful that thing doesn't fall on you. What's doing that? Is that REM pod still scanning? Yeah. Okay, we'll hear it if it goes off. Yeah, you'll hear it from here. Wow, so the activity's happening here, not in that piano room. Mm -hmm. Apparently. <sighs> Scared the living crap out of me. Wasn't expecting that, I was like, just in the zone, like I'm obsessing over how nice this place is. Whoa, what the hell is this? Is that a vault? Oh, that's so creepy. What the hell? I don't know all this was still here. I'm still not even done filming the bottom floor. Look at this, guys, we're in a vault. A really creepy vault of an old abandoned mansion. This is where they would hide all their riches, I guess. Thick steel. Crazy. Isn't this awesome? Ah. <sighs> So all there is in here is just a bedroom, some, some, what is that? Some type of receipts of some sort. They used to leave a lot of stuff in these places. Receipts, really creepy. Look at this, an old folks chair, I guess, for pooping maybe? I don't know. Where's Angela, he's still out there. What else is that? What the f What's doing that? Guys, look at that, it's fucking moving. Whatever is doing that, make it stop. I know you're following me. That's fucking terrifying. I just walked into this room and it wasn't moving and now all of a sudden it's actually moving? Like, are you kidding me? I'm just sitting here in the silence. Watching this damn thing. This is a different room, by the way. It's not like the other room that we were just in, where I thought I seen a shadow. It's the room beside it. There's no way in or out. I'm the only one in here. I'm standing right underneath you. Do something. There's definitely something going on here. There is a, a spirit. Oh, 
What else is down this way? Oh look, this place had an out. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Okay, my backpack hit that. Scared the crap out of me. Where the hell am I? This place is like a freaking maze. Someone left their pumpkin for Halloween. Okay, I'm back in here. Alright, that's good to know. There's all these other areas throughout this house. There used to be a bedroom in here. Check that out. So cool. I'm on edge because I'm walking around alone right now. Angelo's alone, I'm alone. Used to be a bedroom in here too. Probably another room there too. A lot of destruction on this side of the house. Oh, is that a basement? Yeah, I don't want to go in there alone. No, thank you. Angela's old man on the other side of the mansion. It's really big. Okay, let's see what's over here. I'm kind of like walking cautiously because this side looks really terrible. Okay, let's go back. Which way did I come from? I will be going upstairs, guys, eventually. Just still exploring. <laughs> What's that? So strange noise that came from that bathroom. It's like something moved in there. Oh boy, I'm on edge. It is really late, guys. It's like three o'clock in the morning. No, well, we did start off at 3 a.m., so. And the reason why we start off at 3 a.m. is basically because that's when, you know, all the ghouls and demons and monsters come out. Also, security's probably not around because this place is near an active location. Is that? Something just moved over there. Yeah, so this place is abandoned, but there's still security lurking around nearby, so we gotta be careful. Man, as if I just got that on, on camera. That other thing moving. What's that? What the hell is that noise? Oh, it was your machine. Yeah, when I was scrubbing it. Okay. I just got a second chandelier moving all on its own. Really? Yeah, and the, it was right in the room right next to that other one that was moving. Yeah, and no, I was filming the entire time. It's still uncut. It's crazy. We should turn off our lights. <laughs> Regretting turning off our lights, but it's okay. It's really spooky in here. Yeah. You want to touch the machine? Touch the device that's on the ground? That red light, just walk right through it. I don't think he wants to do anything today. No. Last time he got mad at me when I lit up a cigarette in here. Really? Yeah, there was a, there's a nurse that doesn't like smoking inside the building. Yeah, neither do I. Alright. <laughs> so, uh... Sounds like something's back there. I haven't even been upstairs yet. And I just realized that there's a basement too. Oh, it's super creepy upstairs. This whole building, man, everywhere. I mean, yeah, guys, look at this. Would you not be creeped out to be in this place? What do you say we make our way upstairs? All right, guys, I'm going upstairs for the first time tonight. Or the first time ever, I should say. This is crazy. Look at this view. Reminds me of like German homes. But yeah, I've never been to Germany. German oh. There's like poop everywhere up the stairs. There's gonna be some raccoons in here. Oh boy. Getting really nervous coming up here. We got a left and we got a right. Let's go left. Yep. Alright, whoa, look at this, whoa, guys, this, 
is so cool. Look at this place. It's been a while since I found me a nice mansion like this. It's been forever. Some old dressers. This is made of cork. It's cool. Oh, wow, look at this bathtub. Got another big bedroom over here. So this was a big mansion. And it had a lot of old folks living here at certain points in history. Because this place does have history, right? It's just a shame that, you know, it got all destroyed. Unbelievable. Let's go inside of this room. Oh. Wow. Look at this, guys. Old dresser over here. You got the fireplace. This back in the day was the only way to heat up your room. Those fireplaces. That's why there's a fireplace in almost every room. I'm noticing all the rooms have... Whoa! What the hell, man? This is a nice bathroom. Jesus. I mean, the wallpaper <laughs> speaks to me, but look at this bathroom area. This is crazy. Oh my God. Holy moly. This is crazier. Tiny bed. That was like a, a single bed, but pretty cool to look at. I still can't believe a lot of the furniture is left behind. And there's another little tiny bathroom over here. Whoa. Be nice if we could find like pictures of people that stayed here. Some closets on both ends. Got another bedroom over here on this side with a suitcase left behind. Isn't that cool? Everything's like connected to each other. It almost like reminds me of a hotel. What the hell? There is no window here. There is another room that goes downwards. And look at this bed over here. Super, super cool location, you guys. So that little hallway led us to this bedroom over here. So creepy. I'm not talking as much as I used to, you guys. First of all, it's three o'clock in the morning. We've been road tripping all day, I'm dead tired. Second of all, I'm just trying to let you guys listen to stuff. Some of you guys be complaining sometimes that we're too loud. What was that? I don't know, I think something just fell off the ceiling. I couldn't see nothing, it's too dark down there. Come on, Edge. Look at this. Another big, really big bedroom. Fireplace over here. It's amazing how they used to make their, just the, just the arches on the windows. So much attention to detail back in the day. Look, look at this, there's a cottage here on the fireplace. I think I just found a staircase that goes upwards. Maybe just a third floor here somewhere. Let's see what else is on this floor before we do that. Another little bedroom over here. Wow. Beautiful place. I'm finding more of these arches up here. In the hallways and chairs and stuff. For some reason when I look at this hallway, I, I get terrified. It's like there's something in there waiting for me. FYI guys, most people don't do this. A lot of people go to abandon and exploring, but most people don't explore around three o'clock in the morning, up to like five, six, seven a.m. like we do all the time. I give you guys these because I know you guys like that scare factor. And hey, if it scares you guys, then that's good for me because I'm doing a good job, right? That's what you guys come here for. You come for the scare, you come for the epicness of the locations, and the uniqueness of what we do. What is this room? Holy moly. Look at those beams. This looks like it was an activity room at some point in time. There's like a whole kitchenette here. There's all these tables with like activity stuff on them. Definitely an activity room. Seeing some Monopoly money. Wow. Lots of stuff left behind here. Holy moly. Now this is a creepy room. Looks like a room that was shared by a, a couple maybe couple of fine elderly folks that stayed in this room. This is so terrifying. I don't know why it just freaks me out. 
It's like, it speaks death to me for some reason. Check this out, you guys. I just found this like oval room. It's kind of like rounded, as you guys can see. There's a desk over here. Looks like it was somebody's office at one point in time. Just a closet in here and a little bathroom, nothing crazy. Pretty room though, nonetheless. Haven't gone up to the attic just yet. We're gonna go up there together with Angelo. Kind of scared to go up there alone, to be honest. It's, it's terrifying up here. If you guys could only feel the vibes that we feel through the videos. What was that? I come from upstairs? No idea. I was saying, if only you guys can feel the vibes that we feel when we go on these adventures. All right, so making my way up to the third floor attic. Lots of poop everywhere, this is gross. Raccoon, yep, this is definitely raccoon poop. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not saying holy shit about the poop, I'm saying holy shit about this. Oh, yeah, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, this reminds me of Tom's old house. Look That's at, the, yeah. Like the rooms up here. Whoa. Hey guys, this is the coolest thing ever. Terrifying place, please share this video everywhere. Look, I'm in another part of the attic over here. Wow. So much old stuff left behind. Unbelievable. I'm in an attic part. Oh, gotta be careful with that walk. Some mattresses over here. Whoa. Hey, Mr. Raccoon, where are you? Where are you hiding? Probably up here somewhere. We did hear a noise. What is that room all, all the way over there? I'm interested to find out what this room is all about. Oh. Whoa. There's like whole ass bedrooms up here. What the hell? Guys, this is beyond crazy. I haven't found an abandoned mansion like this in a very long time. Something this awesome, and I think I just stepped in poop, but whatever, I'm just gonna ignore that. What the fuck is up with this room over here? Holy shit. Why are there so many lamps like this? Oh. Something, something's moving up here. Anybody with me? Make one of those lamps move or something. Oh. It's like it's stepping near me. What is it with these lamps though? All right, th those lamps are weird. I'm just gonna keep on going. There's another bedroom over here. These are really destroyed badly. There's one room just full of tables, cupboards, so much stuff. The funny thing is, it's this lamp room here, but the lamps are on the other side. Wow. The fact that all this is still here after all these years, really mind blowing. Whoa. Don't wanna go in here, there's not much going on in there. It literally looks like another house, just up here on the third floor. And this is just the attic. Whoa, look at this, guys. Found like a chest here. All right, three, two, one. I hope I don't release any demons out of this chest. Oh. <clears throat> okay, just some clothing. Nothing to fear. Just clothes. Staircase that goes down. Did not see that staircase when I was down below. This is the elevator shaft right here. Wow. And all there is is just one more room. Not much going on in it. Making my way to the other side. Back in the day, when people would come up to these rooms, look at all this dresser. Oh, what the f is going on? What was that? Mattress just fell over. A what? That mattress literally just f flipped over. Oh, what the? F you were recording this whole time? Yeah. I was coming back towards where you were. What did that? 
right behind us. I haven't been in there yet. It's... Wait, I have been in here. I think. Oh, did we? I'm so lost right now. Okay, I'm on edge times 5,000 right now. Mattress just flipped over. It's not a good sign. Something's trying to hurt us. What is this? I don't remember if I've been in here yet. What a creepy room. Look at this, guys. There's a lampshade. There's like an old ironing board. Who's used one of these? Let me know in the comments below. I want to know what the hell flipped that mattress over. I also want to know what the hell did that. Because, like, I actually walked by that thing and, yeah. you know. I walked by it, too. Whatever did that, can you do it again? The smells up here are really nauseating. Can you make that mattress move again? Or make a door move or something? That's in a lamp room. What? Dude, come here. The lamp room. That was in the lamp room. I'm right here. Follow my light. Something moved in the lamp room. What's up with this room? I don't know, man. It's weird, right? It's the strangest thing I've seen in my life. Dude, huh. Oh, it's working now. Oh, you changed the battery? Yeah, I changed the battery. This one was completely dead. Can anyone tell me what correlation to anything paranormal would lamps have and a radio? Or it's a, a record player? Yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you think you know this one. I don't know. This is creepy. Maybe is that... we're trying to do some sort of like paranormal experiment in here? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. You think the, the spirits were trying to do something? <laughs> Are they trying to light up all these lamps? Let's turn off the lights. Maybe we can get them to light up. Maybe. For the record, if these lamps turn on right now, I'm I'm running like I'm a shit bricks. Anything in here that wants to make these lamps turn off and on? Go for it. Something's behind us. I don't like being up here anymore. It was fun while it lasted. What do you see if we go downstairs? Let's go back downstairs. Yeah. Okay, we're making our way back downstairs now. I haven't been to the basement yet. What do you guys say we go down there? <gasps> oh, let's do that. Yeah, back step, be careful. I don't even know where we are right now, to be honest. I have no idea. I think this goes to the basement over here. All right, here we go. Down to the basement we go. I don't even think Angela's been down here. I don't remember. Oh, I man. This is terrifying. Whoa. Ow, ow. It's touching my neck. What was that? What? So it almost like somebody was walking over here. Something literally pinched my neck. Like, actually, yeah. as that happened. What was that? Definitely wasn't a mosquito, it's too cold for mosquitoes. Whoa. Dude, you know what this basement reminds me of? That one abandoned mansion we did in Canada with the vault in the basement? Vault in the basement? Yeah. Which one was that? Oh, that White House one? Yeah, the big yeah. White House. That's what this basement reminds me of. Whoa. Oh, there is down here, I think. This is just a boiler room. Nothing special. What a creepy ass basement, guys. I think this goes outside. Oh, that's cool. So we're not really in the basement. We're still kind of above ground. We're still above ground. Are we? 
Yeah. What is the, the door's wide open to go outside. Wow. So, not much going on down here. Probably just a big pantry. A locker room over here for some reason. No clue why they needed a locker room down here. Here, look, there was a name. Norma Hamil. Maybe it was for the employees that worked here. There was probably a lot of like nurses that worked in a place like this. So I just realized I missed a whole other side. Oh wow. Look at these walls here. I missed all this. What is this? Well, I've seen a laundry room down the other way too. Oh really? Yeah, washers and dryers. What the hell is this? Caution contaminated disposables? What the hell? That's really interesting. We're back upstairs right now. I'm running a little on batteries, you guys, for my light and my camera. We're gonna try the REM pod one more time. Hopefully we'll get something out of it. All right, guys, we got the REM pod over there on the piano once again. Ever since we put it there, I'm seeing some weird orbs emanating from that area, which is strange. So hopefully we get something out of it. Hopefully it starts to go off. Spirits, if you're here, we know you're here actually. Go towards that piano, I know you like that piano. Imagine that piano just started playing right now. That'd be so crazy. Spears, we want you to communicate with us with that device. Make it go off. You sit right in the chair. Feel free to play the piano for us. If you sit in that chair, then we'll... What's that? I don't know. Was that you? Are you here? No, there's a million. There's so much rubbish everywhere. I don't know what that was. We know you're here. What? Your battery's dying? Yeah. I just changed mine too. Like, I keep changing batteries. Yeah. <gasps> what the f was that? 